Hi students, welcome to all of you to this Concepts and Snippets session. Today we are going to discuss a simple chapter called Surface Chemistry. It is the branch of chemistry which deals with physical and chemical changes that occurs on the surface of solids. As you know, we are living in a world with a lot of pollution. So how to minimize pollution? How to prevent ourselves from the pollutants, etc., etc. All these are parts and parcel of surface chemistry. In surface chemistry, we have to deal with two terms. One is adsorption, another is absorption. I repeat, in surface chemistry, we come across two terms. One is adsorption, another is absorption. Adsorption means deposition of molecules on the surface of solid. Higher concentration of molecules are found on the surface, not in the bulk. Whereas absorption means uniform distribution of molecules throughout the bulk. So, surface chemistry we focus on adsorption. Okay? Yes. So, let us discuss adsorption. I told you it is different from absorption. Absorption means uniform distribution of molecules throughout the bulk. Whereas in adsorption, higher concentration of molecules are found on the surface. So, adsorption is a surface phenomenon, whereas absorption is a bulk phenomenon. Okay. Sometimes both adsorption and absorption occur simultaneously. Then we call it as sorption. For example, when a drop of ink is placed on a chalk piece, initially adsorption occurs. After some time, the ink particles go inside, then absorption occurs. So, both adsorption and absorption occur simultaneously, then the term is sorption. So, adsorption is higher concentration of molecules on the surface. Higher concentration of molecules on the surface of solid on the surface of a solid is called adsorption it is a surface phenomenon it is a surface phenomenon okay number 1 Absorption is bulk phenomenon. Distribution, uniform distribution of molecules. Uniform distribution of molecules throughout the bulk. Throughout the bulk is called absorption. Absorption. So, when we use mask, actually you are absorbing the gases, that's all. It doesn't go inside, that is the protection. Using mask is to prevent the entry of dust particles and other pollutants into our lungs. So, we are depositing or preventing the entry. And the common adsorbent used is charcoal. Okay? A common a common adsorb a common adsorbent a common adsorbent used is charcoal so we have to study two more terms one is adsorbent another is adsorbate the surface where adsorption occurs is called adsorbent for example charcoal is adsorbent whereas the molecules that are deposited are called adsorbate so, the process of adsorption involves two terms, adsorbent and adsorbate. Okay. The surface where the surface where adsorption occurs, adsorption occurs is called adsorbent, adsorbent and the molecules which are deposited, the molecules which are deposited are called 
adsorbate adsorbate for example when charcoal is added to acetic acid acetic acid molecules are adsorbed on charcoal so acetic acid is the adsorbate charcoal is the adsorbent okay remember there is a strong force of attraction between the adsorbent and the adsorbate in some cases in some cases it is weak force of attraction accordingly there are two types of adsorption one is chemical adsorption where a chemical bond is formed between the adsorbent and adsorbate the other one is a weak van der waals force it is called physical adsorption or pc sorption okay finally when adsorption and absorption occur simultaneously it is called sorption when adsorption and absorption occurs simultaneously simultaneously it is called sorption it is called sorption remember based on the strength of st strength of attractive force between the adsorbent and adsorbate you have chemical adsorption or chemisorption and physical adsorption or physisorption now let us do a small problem based on adsorption what is that what are the thermodynamic parameters of adsorption a lot of thermodynamic parameters are involved number 1 adsorption adsorption is an exothermic process whether it is physical adsorption or chemical adsorption heat is evolved therefore delta h is negative second during adsorption gas molecules are uniformly deposited on the surface and therefore disorder decreases or entropy decreases adsorption involved adsorption involved decrease in disorder disorder or in terms of thermodynamics disorder is measured by entropy or entropy decreases therefore delta s change in entropy is negative finally adsorption is a spontaneous process adsorption is a spontaneous process and you have already studied for a process to be spontaneous the change in gibbs energy should be negative or gibbs energy of the system should decrease so the thermodynamic parameters of adsorption are delta h negative delta s negative and delta g also negative okay so we'll be coming with more and more informations of surface chemistry in our upcoming sessions thank you